Hi everyone, my name is Julia and I'm a grade 11 dance student at Carter. I came to Carter in grade 7 and I've created so many memories throughout the years. Everyone at Carter is so welcoming and accepting which creates a friendly environment within the school. Unfortunately, this past year has been tough for everyone to adapt to, but Carter is still trying to make it feel as normal as possible. Specifically, the dance department had to think of new ways to engage their dancers while following the COVID restrictions. In grade 11, we had the opportunity to create site-specific pieces in small groups. It was very difficult to adapt to the COVID restrictions, but all of us used our creativity and thought outside of the box. Although it was difficult, everyone managed to create a piece that was inspiring and extremely creative. I just wanted to thank the dance teachers for putting in their hard work each and every day and creating a welcoming, energized space for us dancers. Overall, Carter Dance is truly something I'll never forget. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa and I'm in grade 8 dance at Carter. I came to Carter because I had a passion for dance, but also because I was so excited to dance every day. My passion for dance has grown a great deal. I came to Carter in grade 7 and everybody was so welcoming and supportive. From grade 7 to grade 8, my teacher and I saw a big improvement in my dancing. Everyone at Carter is so welcoming and supportive. Carter Dance does not just teach you how to dance, but it teaches you so much more, from dancing all the way to learning about the human body. Carter really took me out of my comfort zone and I'm so excited for grade nine. Site-specific work is the creation of a piece to be performed in a non-conventional location, where the dancer interacts with the space and uses the site to encourage the style of movement. The grade seven and eights created site-specific pieces and performed outside. Site-specific work challenges a dancer, both as a choreographer and a performer, and this award recognizes the hard work of these students in creating their piece. It's been a long time coming since I've seen your face. I've been everywhere and back trying to replace everything that I had till my feet went numb. Praying like a fool that's been on the run Heart's still beating but it's not working It's like a million dollar phone that you just can't ring I wish now i trying to love but I feel nothing Yeah, my heart is numb Hi everyone, I'm Sienna and I'm in grade 9 dance at Carter. 
Grade 9 dance is so fun. Starting in grade 7, I feel that I learned more about dance and experienced new things like Nutcracker. And as the years went on, teachers started to push and challenge me. And I feel that I improved my technique, performance quality, and knowledge about the history of dance. This allowed me to connect deeply with the art of dance and now being in high school, I feel it has prepared me and overall helped me become a well-rounded dancer. Next up for the grade 11s is the World Dance ISP, which was split into three different parts, theory, composition, and performance. The dancers needed to choose one type of world dance to research for their ISP. For example, Greek dance, Hawaiian dance, or Highland dance. The written section included background information about the chosen country, origins and history of the dance form, and description of the dance form. In addition, the dancers created a dance solo based on the, their chosen dance form that included a costume that represented the country and style of dance. These solos were very fun to do, and the students learned so much and expanded their knowledge on many other dance forms and styles across the world. said that we would always be without you i feel lost at sea through the darkness you'd hide with me like the wind we'd be wild and free you said you'd follow me anywhere but your eyes tell me who Um, both choreographing on myself and my fellow grade 12 dancers has been one of my favorite experiences at Carter. Not only do I love the feeling of performing something created from my own two hands, but I love the process. Being in the studio every day with some of my best friends, working hard, but also having fun is something that I will always be grateful for and look back fondly at. Hi everybody! So at this moment, we will be seeing our grade 10 dancers perform their prop solos. Choreographing a dance piece is challenging, so when adding another aspect, such as using a prop to the creative process, it is an amazing sight. So our dancers' main task was to show their story and their emotion through their choreography, movement, and their choice of prop. Although adding a prop seamlessly to a dance piece may seem difficult, our dancers did an amazing job and I'm so excited for you guys to see what they came up with. I hope you enjoy their performance and the rest of the show.
and I saw how many of my friends grew as dancers and academically. Also, I heard that CCA students went on to have great careers in the arts. And how cool is it that dance is a subject taught in school? Since coming to Carter in grade seven, all the faculty and students have been so welcoming and helped me become the best dancer and student I can be. And I've really seen an improvement in my dancing in all of my subjects. Even through COVID, I still feel that I am improving and learning so much, although I do miss performances. I feel that the teachers have prepared me so well for high school and I can't wait to come back for grade nine. In addition, each grade 11 student had to firstly create and entirely develop their own dance company. Now, based on the company each dancer had created, they had to build a solo from scratch as one of their own company members. These solos were very interpretive as it left much room for choreographic liberty for the dancers.
Dance during quarantine helped me de-stress and relax when I had a huge workload for online school. It also helped me self-discipline myself when I wanted to eat a lot of things. But most importantly, it helped me keep my physical and mental self healthy during quarantine. Next up, I would like to welcome to the stage Cardinal Carter's grade 9 dance students. The grade 9 dancers spent a portion of their class focusing on emotion solos. They were challenged to create a solo which portrayed a specific feeling or emotion. This assignment really pushed the students to step out of their comfort zone and choreograph a solo that portrayed their exact feeling to the audience. Overall, the dancers did an amazing job with these assignments and have shown great improvement in their performance skills. The Emotion Award definitely goes to them.
Next up, the grade 11 students also created a dance solo that represented one of the four categories of composition, elemental, narrative, abstract, or atmospheric. These solos were very challenging as each dancer also had to associate one of the chosen categories to a visual representation of their category, as well as a song that was cohesive with their theme. These solos were very well done and amongst us grade 11s, we had very much fun watching each other's solos. Some people want me to be heads or tails I say no way, try again another day I should be happy, not tipping the scales I just won't play, letting my life get away
nobody and no road home I want to be somebody to someone And if the sun starts setting the sky goes cold And if the clouds get heavy and start to fall I really need somebody to call my own I want to be somebody to someone Someone to you Someone to you Someone to you jump you don't feel the fall hope when the water rises you build a wall hope when the crowd screams out you're screaming your name hope if everybody runs you choose to stay Hope that you fall in love and it hurts so bad
Hi everyone, my name is Natalia and I'm a grade 9 student at Cardinal Carter. I've been at Carter since grade 7 and I've learned so much about dance in the past few years. Starting off in grade 7 and 8, learning all about the history and theory of dance, I felt truly prepared me for the high school setting. I've had the opportunity to work with many amazing teachers at Carter, as well as guest teachers and have experienced events such as Dance Night and the Nutcracker. Now being in high school, my knowledge of dance has made me a more mature and experienced dancer. I'm so thankful for all that Carter has taught me in the past few years and I'm excited to see what's to come in the future. The next award is for the grade 7 and 8 performance piece, Thunder and Lightning. When speaking about the creative process behind this piece, Mr. Matthews says, The grade 7 and 8 students worked with a partner to create their own movement sequences. They were then instructed on how to modify, change, and refine their original choreography to make it more interesting. I then began to organize and reinvent their movement phrases. We introduced music at this point in the process, and along with some choreography created by myself, we were able to collaborate to create this performance piece. This award recognizes the hard work of our grade 7 and 8 students and the creative process behind their piece, Thunder and Lightning. Hi, my name is Sabrina and I'm a grade 12 dancer at Carter. Carter has given me many opportunities to choreograph over my six years in the dance program and it has allowed me to express myself in a really creative way. Choreographing on myself and on my fellow peers has been an amazing experience and one that I'll never forget. Next up, I would like to introduce to you Cardinal Carter's grade 11 dance students. Me and my classmates have created, explored, and worked on various different choreographic, technical, and emotional aspects of dance throughout our grade 11 year. Specifically, a large portion of our class time was dedicated to creating a site-specific composition. This composition was very challenging as each group of dancers based their movement, concept, and videography on a specific site or location. Every grade 11 student worked extremely hard to put these pieces together and excelled immensely. It's been a long time coming since I've seen your face I've been everywhere and by trying to replace Everything that I had till my feet went numb Praying like a fool, it's been on the run Heart's still beating but it's not working It's like a million dollar phone that you just can't ring I wish now I'm trying to love but I feel nothing Yeah, my heart is numb Say 
medicine to know me I was a lonely soul, but that's the only A little wise now for much to show me yeah, I feel again Hi everyone, my name is Alexia and I'm in grade 8 dance. I came to Carter because I knew this is the place where I can unleash my inner talent as a dancer. Carter is so welcoming and it's the place where I met my best friends. Carter really encouraged me and taught me that dance is not just about movement, but so much more than that. From Mr. Matthews always encouraging me to be the best dancer can be, from Miss Salava teaching me intricate moves, Carter's truly a safe place and always wants you to strive for the best. Without these supporting and caring teachers, I couldn't be the dancer I am today. I can't wait to continue my new skills and develop other skills for grade nine. In ballet, the grade nine dance students were asked to choose a popular and well-known ballet variation. They chose these variations based on their strengths and which variation would be best for them. The dancers learned these variations and were challenged to modify anything they needed to and make it into their very own. Each student showed so much individuality and performed with so much character. We couldn't be more proud of our grade 9 dancers for showing how well they can adapt in any situation. Now, sit back, relax, and get ready for some amazing ballet performances. Hi, I'm Sue and I'm from the grade 11 dance program and for me creating a group piece with my entire cohort was a great experience. We got to be so creative and also stayed safe while using our COVID restrictions like wearing a mask and staying six feet apart while creating a dance, which is something that was really fun for us to do. The grade seven and eights have been working hard, strengthening their ballet and modern technique as well as their improvisational skills. They have practiced precise petit allegro exercises such as glissade jeté and slow and controlled adage movements. Their classwork shows their skills as dancers as well as their commitment to each class and opportunity. This award recognizes their hard work in class and their versatility as dancers.
Try to keep you close to me, but life got in between. Tried to square, not be in there, but said that I should have been. Hold back the river, let me look in your eyes. Hold back the river, so I can stop for a minute and see where you hide. Hold back the river, hold back. Once upon a different life, we rode our bikes into the sky. But now we call against the tide. Those distant days all flashing by. This is my first year at Carter. I'm enjoying it well, even with the pandemic. The pandemic has made our life a little bit tough with all the rules, protocols, masks, social distancing, and all that. But at least we still get to have fun, get an education, learn, see our friends, see our teachers and classmates, and do what we love. The virtual performance pieces that each grade 11 group built this year were all very fun and vibrant. These pieces did not require much structure, which allowed the groups to have an open mind with respect to their concept and narrative. These group pieces included fully developed concepts and narrative, extravagant costumes, expressive facial expressions, and used a variety of dance styles, including jazz, hip hop, contemporary, and ballet. Why do I feel like I'm drowning? Like I'm running out of air. When I lose control
And I can change the atmosphere All I ask from you is patience Some patience Some patience Just let me know Can you be the one to hold And not let me go I need to know Could you be the one to go When I lose control 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 Could you be the one to go When I lose control Hi everyone, my name is Alyssa and I'm a grade 9 dance student at Carter. I came to Carter in grade 7 and the teachers and students were very welcoming. Now being in grade 9, I was able to experience one of the many perks of the dance program, like Nutcracker and Dance Night. Some of the things I've learned in grade 7 have truly prepared me for grade 9, and I couldn't have done that without the encouragement and support of the dance teachers. My experience in the dance program so far has not only strengthened me as a person, but also as a dancer. I'm truly grateful for all the knowledge I've gained, and I'm looking forward to my next three years. Coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, staying together is a success. The grade 12 dance students of Carter have come together to create many pieces for a show we call In the Making. Usually done in pairs, they are assigned a group in which they must choreograph and direct a dance for to add to the performance. As well, they are to participate in at least one of their fellow peers' creations. This assignment allows them to experience real-life tasks done in the dance world and teach them the value of cooperation. The struggles the dancers may face during the creation process can prepare them for future scenarios and assist them in finding what fits them best. Finally, please allow me to present to you the Grade 12 Dancers.
grade 10, and dance has helped me a lot through this pandemic. This year has been really difficult for everyone, I'm sure you can agree, and dance was something that just gave me a positive outlet to express my emotions and help keep me fit and active. This year, I was able to create a site-specific dance with two of my close friends from class. We faced a lot of challenges, specifically because of COVID restrictions. We chose a very public space, and so we had to think about our filming hours and choose times of the day at which we didn't have to worry about large crowds of people. Despite this, we still had a lot of conceptual freedom, which was so valuable to us as new choreographers. We were able to explore themes and messages that we can personally relate to, and it was one of the first times that we felt that our work as dancers could truly make a positive impact on viewers. Finally, I would like to give an honorable mention to all the grade 11 dance students for putting together and running the entire virtual festival. Great job, everyone.